Did you see that, friends? I made something. It's called a catapult. And you can make it yourself at home. And you only need three things. It's super simple. You want me to show you how to make one? All right. All you need are a water bottle. Or you can use something shaped like a water bottle, like a, a toilet paper roll. But I think a water bottle look, works a little bit better. You need a big spoon. It can be plastic. It can be wood. It can be metal. And a nice big spoon. And the last thing you need is a rubber band. So with these three things, a water bottle, a rubber band, and a spoon, I can make my own catapult. So here's what you do. You take your water bottle and you're going to wrap your rubber band around it two times. One, and then I'm going to twist it and wrap it around again. Two. See how I have my rubber band one, two times around my water bottle? Now what you're going to do is look for the X. <gasps> X. X marks the spot. This is my spot where I'm going to put my spoon in. So I'm going to lift up my X and I'm going to put my spoon in there. And now I have my own catapult. What do you do with a catapult? Catapults are really good for flinging things. So you want to fling things that are very light and soft. You don't want to fling something heavy because ooh, that could cause problems. You could hurt somebody. So I'm going to try with a few different things. I'm going to start with a cotton ball, which is nice and soft and squishy. All right, I'm going to put my cotton ball in my spoon. And let's see what happens when I push down on this side. It flew all the way across the room. All right, what else should I try? Ooh, you know what that is? That's a marshmallow. Mmm, smells good. Let's see what happens with the marshmallow. When I push down on this side, <gasps> it hit the window. You can even just use a piece of paper and crumple it up. Now I have a little paper ball. Ready? Oh, that went almost as far as the marshmallow, but not quite. What could be fun is if you try different things in your catapult and see which one flies the furthest. There's also other ways you can experiment with your catapult. You can try moving the spoon higher up like that and see if things go farther that way or lower down. See how that works? You can try with different size spoons or different size water bottles or toilet paper holders. Now, if you're ready for a little science vocabulary, I have two very new words for you. One is lever. And that's basically what this is. It's a lever. A lever is a simple machine that you use to lift things. And in this case, we are lifting the paper or the cotton ball or the marshmallow. We're lifting it up into the air and then away it goes. So when you have a lever like this, the most important part is this. It's called a fulcrum. That's the part that stays on the bottom while this part of the lever goes up and down. So if you try different size fulcrums, your lever's going to work a little differently. Let's see what happens here. I use this toilet paper holder and I put my spoon in. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Let's try the marshmallow. Oh, boy, that didn't go as far, did it? How about the cotton ball? quite as far. There's some crumpled up paper. Mm, look, those stayed on my table because I changed my lever. My fulcrum was much, much smaller. 
when I used a water bottle, which is bigger, my things went farther. This is something that you can experiment with at home and all you need is a rubber band, a spoon, and some kind of fulcrum. Try a water bottle. Anyway, have fun flinging things. It's great fun. See you next time.